Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to Stellaris. We are of course playing as, boom, the Potato Empire. And my name of course is Orbit of Potato. Alright, we've got a lot of big, 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 big stuff to be getting on with today. First things first, we are researching the research base project. We are also due to be completing the very, 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 very important engineering technology that is going to allow us to um, play around with destroyers and actually upgrade the spaceport to level 3. So a lot of very, very, very interesting stuff is going to be happening today for sure. Okay, let's just mark you on the map. We already know where you are on the map. Don't really care about that. We only care about precursors, the first league. That's uh, of interest to us. Research complete. Okay. Booyah. We've got the research that is just being completed. Let's go for... Let's get the power plant. We need to discover some of these strategic resources. That's really important for us. So just get that out of the way. Um, crazily enough, we actually have the... Where is it? We've already got the... I'm sure we had something. Oh, maybe I'm just going crazy. I thought we had some sort of another tech that allowed us to do something else or something. Yeah, look, we've already got the 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 uh, the tech for the Batharian power plant Mark II. So we're you know as soon as we research the number one, it's going to be completely redundant because we're just going to build the second one, since it is literally just an upgraded version, costs an extra thirty minerals. But who who gives a hoot anyway? It gives us an extra two. Two uh, energy credits, which is really, really nice. You know, better value for money, I suppose. So, that's what I just wanted to point out. Uh, construction ship needs to be doing something. You need to be... Heading... Somewhere else, I guess. Go here. Build mining stations. Yeah, why not? Just build lots of mining stations pretty much everywhere. Uh, yeah, it's a shame that that's not within our boundaries. But I was also thinking that we could perhaps get away with building a, uh, a an outpost, a frontier outpost, either over here to get access to the two systems with three. Let's actually just go, just go there, buddy. Just go here. Like, just stop here. Move there. Right, I was thinking either one of two places. We can either try and encompass this area, or we can try and encompass this area. Ideally, though, we could also include the Neutron Star. So maybe, potentially, if we built the, uh, the outpost over here, build the Frontier Outpost over there, then we might just include the entire area. I don't know how big the area of effect is actually going to be, but if we look at if we look at this size, it's quite respectable. But either way, it's a good idea to get this uh, this engineering research. I think it's definitely worthwhile. I mean, five engineering research is not anything to sniff at at all. Um speaking of sniffing at, which is completely unrelated to the topic at hand, but hey ho. Uh, we need to go for the spaceport upgrade, so we're just going to be holding on to our current, our current gems, our current minerals, until we are at a sufficient level where we can actually do something with them. You, yep, you. That's right. Wherever the hell you are, go and build a mining station. And yes, I know I said that we would be holding on to our minerals, but I lied. Well, I didn't really lie, but we're just going to be spending ninety of them, and that's basically nothing anyway. So. You know, it's worth it. And as soon as we get these bloody destroyers up, we'll be able to have a much, 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 much better time uh, defending from all of the shite that goes on, or I suspect will be going on. Uh, it's it's worth noting, actually, that a couple of people are improving relations with us. They've got an end embassy in, uh, in our country. Complete. What is this? An interesting find. Hey, we did it. Plus one league artifact recovered. Physics research granted. 60. Beautiful. Uh, so, where is the level 5 science guy? You're level 4. You're level 4. 
Oh, you're working on the next thing. Okay, awesome. That's good. Uh, the thing after that is totally, totally, totally going to be the naval base over here, which should give us the... We've recovered three. That'll give us our fifth. Looks like the, the, the naval base will give us our fifth and maybe our sixth um, artifact. I, I don't really know, though. I really don't. I, I really, really don't know how, uh, how that's going to work out, but it should work out kind of interestingly, which is which is the main thing, isn't it? Okay, this science ship, where do we want to send you? I mean, we've basically we've basically explored pretty much all there is to explore around. Like there's nothing super drastic that we need to that we need to find. I mean, I suppose we could go over here and survey. What's the fucking point? Like Okay, we've already Okay. 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 Science ship, just go go here. Survey that system. And survey that system. And that system. Oh my god, okay. Survey this system. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. You know, it's, it's okay. We'll do it again. Survey that system. Survey that system. And survey that system. Then this one. I mean, there must be an auto-survey feature that'll just, like, constantly auto-survey stuff. I mean, that would be cool if there is, but I don't know if I'm just missing something completely... Order the ship for a special research project. Assist research. Well, that's what we're working on at the moment. Oh, shit. Yeah, there you go. We fucking found it, didn't we? Well, there you go. Well, uh, we, f we figured out there was just the button. All we needed to do was bloody well look. It's just the... Wait, where, where's the ship that's researching autonomously? It's not you. It's not you. Yeah? Will you now research around the place? Like, will you survey autonomously? Maybe that's not how it works. I do not know. I I do not know. But you're not level 5, are you? No, you're level 4. That's so close. So close. You're so close to level 5 as well. You're even closer, believe it or not. Hey ho. This is the science ship that's still working on the project that is kind of important. How old is this guy, by the way? He's 54. Holy cow. That's awesome. Uh, he's not very old at all. 450 minerals. Hey, we've got the... Right, we, we've got more than 450 minerals. That's what I meant to say. There we go. Spaceport level 3. We can also start looking at our destroyer brand new... Oh, fantastic. Plus one league artifact. Beautiful. Uh, let's look at designing a destroyer. I have no idea. What do we want? We want a faith breaker and a shrine bulwark. All right. I guess we'll we'll take that. Comet sighted. A small celestial object with pronounced gaseous and particulate tails was recently observed in the Stellar Fox system. Its passing was uneventful. Great. Maybe that's a reference to EU4, the fact that you always have the comet, which always ruins something or other. Coil gun, I think, is probably better. I mean, it delivers better. I mean... Yeah, I mean, the large mass driver is not as good as the coil gun. The coil gun is better. Right. Yeah, let's get the coil gun. Coil guns all round, guys. Coil guns all round. Let's get some fission reactors. Research complete. Let's put it in there. Medium sized. Medium sized. Medium sized. And nano composite armor, I suppose. Let's pause that, by the way, because we need. Ah, yeah. Let's just get like shit tons of armor. That's not bad. That is not bad. You know, it's not bad at all. We'll take it. We'll take it. All of these settings are fine. We're going to call this... We're going to call this... The Destroyer. The Destroyer. I wonder why. I wonder why we're calling it The Destroyer. But there we go. It's going to cost us 208. 208 minerals to produce. So, not a cheap ship by any stretch of the imagination, but it wasn't designed to be a cheap ship. It was designed to be... 
Important. Uh, leader lifespan plus 10 years. That's actually going to really help us out, I think. Uh, unlocks feature uplift. Advanced DNA. Allows genetically uplifting and socially integrating species which are closer to being sentient. That might be able to help us for... Where is it? The Mythar system. Bronze Age. Let's give it a shot. Let's give it a shot. I mean, unless we want to do to it to do anything else. I mean, a bio lab. I don't give a shit about bio labs. Uh, I don't really care about hab hab habitability. Yeah, I think uplift is actually a really good decision here. Uh, and we're very close to unlocking the power plant, and uh, we're very close to seeing if we've got any strategic resources that we can capitalize on. There we go. Let's fly. Let's do a research project. Uh, you. Where the hell do we want to go? Yeah, go and survey that system. Survey all these systems. Would you be open to us uh, having a active sensor link? No, not really. Just your star charts again. Just a little peek. I mean, you might not go for it, but whatever. Sometimes you don't go for it unless it's like above two or whatever. Oh, no, there we go. Have you discovered anything else? No, it turns out that no, I just spent minerals on pretty much nothing. You've discovered pretty much nothing since I uh, since I last saw you. Research complete. Oh, beautiful. Great. We can see if we've got any strategic resources in just a second. Uh, destroyer assembly yards. Oh man, I really would like that. That would be a big goal, but totally possible. We do have one, one single, one single Betharian stone. Nothing else. He's got some of that. He's got some of that. He's got two of that. Ah, looks like. Looks like we weren't lucky with the spawns, unfortunately. But, you know what? Sometimes that happens. Sometimes that happens. Build a research station over there. Sometimes that does indeed happen. Of course you are. Where is this? Okay, great. I don't care. It's fine. I only care about this research. That's what really, uh, really floats my boat. So yeah, everybody has two. Look, you yeah, he has two. He has zero. Oh, what about if I offer you uh, offer you a trade deal? Would you like some strategic resources? You would like that very lot. You would like that very very lot. Uh, how about if you give me some stone for it? Oh wow, you you would be very willing to take that off my hands. Actually, that's a lot of minerals. But no, I'm not going to do that. That's stupid, obviously. Uh, let's go back to Peppy and go onto the surface. Pause for just a second and have a look at what we can actually build. Now, we want, ideally, to be building a Betharian power plant, like a Betharian power plant 2. We're going to have to build it, obviously, and then we will upgrade it. That's fine. Um, speaking of upgrading, we could really do with upgrading the planetary administration to the planetary capital. I see no reason not to do that. It seems like a really good idea. But you know what? I might be wrong. I might absolutely be wrong. We also do want to start up another colony, so you know that's something that we've got to start thinking about rather than just ignoring for eternity, I suppose. I mean... I don't really... No, I, we shouldn't do this. We should build... No, we should build this first. I mean, we will eventually build a research station here, but for now we should build a mining station. It's better value for money, That's rather than just building an, a, a research station for one single, you know, one single point in, in social society even. Uh, construction has been completed. That's great. What the hell were we even completing? Was it the upgrade? I think it was the upgrade. 
Great. Uh, do we want to start building some destroyers? I don't know. I mean, how how soon is it before we get this research? 38 months. It's quite a long time. That's uh, quite a long time. Yeah. Uh, it's a little bit of a shame. Might might be worth just pumping out some destroyers. Oh well. Uh, how are we doing on construction of the the Batharian power plant? It's going to get us a lot more a lot more energy credits. That's for sure. And how much is it going to cost for the upgrade? I have no idea how much going to how much it's going to cost for the upgrade. I think it, I think it said sixty minerals or something. It didn't seem like an awful lot when I last checked, but you know I could very well be wrong. Uh, the borders don't nearly meet. That's annoying. Build another frontier outpost. Just just do it. I, I don't care that we're spending shit tons of minerals now. That is annoying. That is really that is really annoying, actually. Oh, I thought that it was. I was maybe a little bit optimistic with the, with the size of the borders, but uh, that's a shame. Well, we'll just build another frontier outpost. That'll definitely connect our empire up. Yeah, shit happens, I suppose, doesn't it? Oh my god, you're not researching this. Why are you not researching this? Probably well because I didn't tell you to, obviously, but. I wish I did tell you to. That's what I'm. That's what I'm trying to say. Oh man, I'm just. This guy's got three of them. Three Batharian stone. Oh my goodness. God damn it. That's a lot of Batharian stone. I'm just going on a little. Just a little worldwide universal tour of everything, I guess, haven't I? How close are we to finishing this skill tree off? Four out of six. That's kind of impressive, I suppose. Oh, finally. We begin research on something that's actually important. Gosh darn it. That is really, really, really annoying. Complete. Inactive buildings on Peppy. Hey, the Batharian power plant has been completed. Pause a second. An upgrade to the... What is this? The power plant. Oh, we can upgrade it to a power plant two. Ninety crystals. I'll take that. That's that's a good deal. I will take that in a minute. But first, I want to upgrade the Batharian power plant to level two, and the population that it's going to grow into is going to be worked right there. Uh, it should take a long-ish time. Well, not a long-ish time, but a fair amount of time. Hostile fleet. Yeah, fine. Uh, it's going to take. A fairly long time for us to grow our population up to a certain level so up to this level basically I say fairly long time it's not gonna take very long at all 1.8% per month maybe just yeah just under a year six months or whatever well that just over six months so that should be fine that's not a bad position to be in I suppose is it not a bad position at all construction ship over here build a research uh, research station a mining station right there and then head over here I guess because we really don't want to be being inefficient with our resources when we're so thin on the ground for minerals because you know we always have things that we can do with minerals we always 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 do how is this construction of the frontier outpost going I mean, this is a good system. I mean, our basic choices were this system or this system. And this system is pretty much better in every every regard, apart from the energy credits. And we're going to be getting a shit ton of energy credits anyway, so I'm not too, too worried. It's just a little bit of a shame, really, that we weren't managing, uh, weren't going to be able to encompass it in. But hey-ho, it happens. You know, we, uh, uh, we're not going to be too, too affected by it. I mean, apart from that little bit of a, an influence decrease. It kind of sucks a bit. Does anybody want to join my bloody alliance? That's my question. You're not exactly against it. You're definitely against it. And you are somewhat against it. I mean, 
if you liked me a little bit more, then that would be great. But you're a fanatic pacifist. Okay, wow. All right, that's great. Offer a trade deal. Non-aggression pledge. You want to give me... Why won't you give me a non-aggression pledge? You're really not keen on that. You're not going to guarantee my independence? Okay, that sucks. What if you want to... Do you want to become my vassal? You're not keen on it. You're not keen on it, if I'm honest. You're not keen on it. You're not, you're not that keen on it. Uh, you know, you're not that keen on it. Um, power plant and then the Bitharian power plant, both going to be upgraded. Uh, I more care about when the population is finished. I mean, that's going to be a really big deal. And our, our energy credit is going to shoot up dramatically, which is quite exciting. How's the frontier outpost coming along? I imagine it's coming along relatively well. Okay, you need to head on over here, and you need to build mining stations. Mining stations for everything. And that will put us in a pretty good... I say pretty good. A better mineral situation. Uh, first League artifact recovered. Fantastic. That's not... That's us got, what, five? First League artifacts right now. And the naval base is just being completed. So, where is the 6th? That's the question. Where is the 6th? I don't know. I do not know. Is there a system that we just haven't researched? I mean, we have surveyed this one, yeah. Have surveyed that one. Oh, that's not surveyed. It could be that one. It could be. It could be. I mean, it could be any of these systems that has a hostile bunch of people in it. I don't know if it spawns in systems that are hostile, though. I I just do not know. So you are going to do that, and then you're going to be queuing up a research station there. Perfect. It's gonna. You're going to drive a fairly large amount. You're going to shoot back and forth. That's what I mean, but hey-ho. Turns out that making you research autonomously doesn't really matter. Oh, survey. This is good. But you just survey automatically? No. I can only pinpoint it on certain systems. Uh... Already surveyed. Like here, maybe? I suppose that'll do. Still no sign of uh, any of the first league, the precursors, the the first league artifacts, which which you know we're really really after. Why, you ask? I don't know. I just want to find them. It's it's a, it's a story that interests me. You know, much like many things in life, if it interests you, then you know just do it. You should totally pursue your dreams. That's what I believe, anyway. Not like my advice is worth listening to, but you know what. It's worth putting out there. Anyway, ladies and gents, thank you very, very much for watching this episode of Stellaris Potato Empire. The Potato Empire, should I say. Uh, construction of the Bitharian upgrade thing just completed. 12 power. 12 power from this one tile. Holy cow. Holy cow. As a planet, we're outputting 40 energy. 40 energy. Oh my goodness. 12 power from the Batharian power plant. That is crazy. And you know what I'm going to do right now? I'm going to queue up uh, an upgrade over here to the power plant Mark II. And that power plant we can also do with upgrading if we had the minerals. Let's wait till the end of the month and, uh, and then we'll upgrade it and then we'll call it an episode. Because why not? Why not? I think we can be pretty happy with our progress, to be honest. I'm very happy with our progress that we've made. You know, it's just these minor changes that are actually resulting in, you know, major, major, major repercussions down the road. Game is saved. Already queued this for construction. Great. Fantastic. All right. 
ladies and gents, thank you very, very much for watching this episode of Stellaris as the Potato Empire. My name, of course, is Little Bit of Potato. Got a lot of interesting stuff lined up over the uh, the next couple of days. So uh, so yeah, make sure you make sure you watch because the Potato Empire ain't going anywhere. It's sticking around. And it's probably been around since the very beginning of time. And I hope we will discover more about that storyline over the uh, over the upcoming episodes. Anyway, folks, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.